Dear students, in this class, we will solve some numerical problems based on rotational spectroscopy. These are the questions that are frequently asked in university as well as various competitive examinations. The first question is, the rotational spectrum of gaseous HPR has a series of equispaced lines separated by 16.94 cm inverse. Calculate the moment of inertia and bond length for HBR. Given the masses of hydrogen and bromine, H is equal to 1.008 and Br equals 79.909. Okay. So, we have to find out the moment of inertia and the bond length, that is the internuclear distance. We have given the uh, separation between the lines as 16.94 cm inverse. So, while discussing the rotational spectroscopy, we have seen that in the case of a rigid rotor, the rotational energy levels are all equally spaced and the separation between the adjacent lines is equal to 2b. So, we are given 2b equals 16.94 cm inverse. Therefore, b equals 16.94 by 2 that is equal to 8.47 cm inverse. Okay, so, we have got B. Now, we have to find out the moment of inertia. So, again the rotational constant is related to the moment of inertia as B equals H by 8 phi square I C where H is the Planck's constant, I is the moment of inertia and C is the velocity of light. So, from this we can write I equals H by 8 phi square B C. So, this is equal to 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second divided by 8 into 3.14 the whole square into the value of B is given in centimeter inverse which is 8.47 centimeter inverse into C is the velocity of light that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. So since B is given in centimeter inverse we will write the velocity also in centimeter per second. Okay. So that is 3 into 10 raised to 10 centimeter second inverse. Now this is equal to we will get as 3.5. 306 into 10 raised to minus 47 kilogram meter square. The unit of moment of inertia is kilogram meter square. Okay. So, here we have the Planck's constant. The unit is joule second. Right. Now, 1 joule is kilogram meter square second raised to minus 2. So, here centimeter inverse and centimeter will get cancelled off. And the seconds will also cancel off. So, the unit becomes kilogram meter square. Okay. So, this is the moment of inertia of HBR. Now, next we have to find out the bond length. We know that the moment of inertia I equals mu R square. Therefore, R equals root of I by mu. We have already found out the moment of inertia. So, in order to find out the bond length, the next quantity that is to be determined is the reduced mass which is mu. Okay. And the formula of reduced mass is mu equals m1 m2 by m1 plus m2. Where m1 and m2 are the masses of the two atoms. We can find out the reduced mass in two ways. Either find out m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilograms. So, that we will get the reduced mass in kilograms. Okay. Or we can do it like this m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into 1 by Avogadro number. That is 1 by 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. And you will get the answer in grams. So, convert it into kilograms. In both ways, you will get the same answer. So, from this we can write mu equals 1.008 into 79.909 
divided by 1.008 plus 79.909 into I am doing it in the first way that is 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 27. So that will be equal to 1.6524 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilograms. So this is the reduced mass. Now to find out the internuclear distance R is equal to root of I by mu. So that is under root value of moment of inertia is 3.306 into 10 raised to minus 47 divided by 1.6524 into 10 raised to minus 27. So this is equal to 1.414 into 10 raised to minus 10 meters. So we got the internuclear distance as 1.414 into 10 raised to minus 10 meters or you can write 1.414 angstrom because 1 angstrom is equal to 10 raised to minus 10 meters. If you want to express it in picometers, then that will become 141.4 into 10 raised to minus 12 meters or that is equal to 141.4 picometers. This is how we calculate the moment of inertia and bone length for the given molecule. Now let's solve another question. The bond length in HCl molecule is 127.5 picometers. Calculate the wave number in centimeter inverse for the transition J equal 0 to J equal to 1 for this molecule. Okay. And we have given the uh, masses of hydrogen and chlorine. So here we have to find out the wave number. We have provided with the bond length that is R equals 127.5 picometers that is 127.5 into 10 raised to minus 12 meters b is equal to h by 8 pi square i c we know that h is the Planck's constant c is the velocity of light but i is not known so we have to find out the moment of inertia first so i equals mu r square we have R, but the reduced mass we have to find out. So we have the formula mu equals m1 m2 by m1 plus m2. And in the previous problem, I told that in order to find the reduced mass, we have to multiply it with 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilograms. Or divide this quantity by the Avogadro number. Both are same. So, we are provided the masses in atomic units. Okay, so that is for hydrogen it is 1.008 AMU. That is atomic mass unit. Similarly, for chlorine it is 35.45 and 1 AMU is equal to 1 divided by 6.023 into 10 raised to 23. So, 1 gram divided by the Avogadro number is one atomic mass unit. Okay. So this is equal to 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 24 gram or that is equal to 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilograms. Okay. So that's why we are multiplying this quantity m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into this value 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilograms okay or what you can do m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into 1 by avogadro number 1 by 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 you will get the same value okay so let's find out the reduced mass so mu equals 1.008 into 35.45 divided by 1.008 plus 35.45 into 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilograms. So you will get 1.627 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. Now you have to find out the moment of inertia. So I equals mu R square. So that is 1.627 into 10 raised to minus 27 
kilogram into R is 127.5 into 10 raised to minus 12. So 127.5 into 10 raised to minus 12 meter the whole square. So this is equal to 2.644 into 10 raised to minus 47 kilogram meter square. So next we have to find out the value of the rotational constant B. So B equals H by 8 pi square IC. So substituting the value of moment of inertia, the value of the Planck's constant and the velocity of light, we will get B equals 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 kilogram meter square second inverse divided by 8 into 3.14 the whole square into 2.644 into 10 raised to minus 47 into 3 into 10 raised to 10 centimeter per second and the value will be 10.59 centimeter inverse. So you have got the value of B. Now we have to find out the wave number for the transition from J equal to 0 to J equal to 1. We know that the frequency of transition from one level to another is given by nu bar. So for any level from J to J plus 1, it is 2B into J plus 1 centimeter inverse. So here we are asked j equal to 0 to j equals 1. So that will be equal to 2b. Since j equal to 0, then the frequency of transition will be 2b. We have got b equals 10.59. Okay, therefore, 2b equals 2 into 10.59. So that will be equal to 21.18 centimeter inverse. So this is the frequency in wave number. So we have discussed two different types of problems. In the first question, we have to find out the moment of inertia and bond length. And here, the bond length is given and we have to find out the frequency of transition. Okay. So these two questions are very easy to solve. Just remember the uh, formula for the rotational constant B equals H by 8 pi square IZ or vice versa I equals H by 8 pi square BC. I equals mu R square. The only thing is that you should be careful while calculating the reduced mass. Most often students will forget to uh, put the factor 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 27 or to divide by the Avogadro number. Okay. So you have to remember to multiply it either by 1 by Avogadro number or 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilograms.